Welcome to Coffee Break, 5 Minutes with God, 5 Minutes in the Word of God, 5 Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, beginning in verse 7. Who goeth to war at any time at his own expense? Who planteth a vineyard and eateth not of its fruit? Or who feedeth a flock and eateth not of the milk of the flock. In other words, the people that you serve, your employer, should pay you. That's what God expects. That's what God commands. The laborer is worthy of their pay. Scripture is very clear on that. It is not God's will <clears throat> for anyone to work for nothing. It is not God's will for anyone to expect money for not doing anything. It is not God's will for anyone to work and not get anything for doing it. It's not that hard to figure out. It's just common sense. And it's not God's will, which is what Paul is talking about here, for a minister who teaches the Word of God to have to furnish his own living by secular employment. It all goes back to the Old Testament when the ministers in the temple, the Levites across the country also, were paid from the things that were offered in the holy temple or the work that they did in some other way by the worshipers. God says that the worker is worthy of their pay. And even people in the world recognize that it's not right to expect someone to work for nothing. The Corinthian Christians should have been treating Paul better than they had been treating him. He, just, he kept preaching the Word of God because it's never a reason not to teach the Word of God. But it wasn't right, nevertheless, it wasn't right in the eyes of God. Verse 8, Say I these things as a man, or saith not the law the same also? There's no doubt about it. Ministers and their families are supposed to, according to the word of God, live off the gifts that people, of the people that they serve. That's a command from God. Now, having said that, a minister should be willing to live a humble life. They should be satisfied with the basics. Not, you know, a million dollar, a million dollar condo, multiple in many cases. N nothing like that. Nothing extravagant. Gold, golden plumbing, air conditioned dog houses. We've all heard of these outrages that some so-called ministers, how they have squandered the money of God's people. And I'll tell you something else, and this is way too often the case. The ministry should not be looked at as a career, but as a service to God and God's people. And the people should give out of appreciation for the Lord and the work of proclaiming the word of God that the minister is doing. Study all of God's word with me at the Scripture Verse by Verse website. And that's found at the Bible, versebyverse.com. Go there, choose, click, and listen. From four complete series going through the whole Bible, going on five, to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, pray for me and pray for God's word. That makes you an immediate and important part of this ministry. Write a note, put it on your refrigerator door, pray for Mike, pray for God's word. And every time you see that note, you can pray again. And also when you take a break from studying with me at the Bible, versebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. That also makes you a part of this ministry. See you next time.